you have probably seen one of these lovely ladies. And you probably know that they are located in Kyoto, Japan. With traditional houses like these ones here. We're back in good old Japan, my dear viewers. We're back in the bustling post-war area with their colorful traditions and a lot of new things coming up from America, but still very traditional in some kind of cultural aspects. Some years ago, Mattel brought out this My Kodal and maybe you have asked yourself how much of a real Maiko is in her and how much fiction do we see here. Let's explore this today. I am Busy Bee from Germany. I'm a long time Barbie collector and a Barbie dog for almost 10 years. This channel is more than your one-stop Barbie repair workshop. By all means, she's a really, really pretty doll. From my side as a collector, I can say I immediately wanted her the day I saw her and this was literally more than a decade ago. She still came out when I was full in my collector collector period. You know, not the vintage ones, not the mod ones, just the collector dolls or Barbie collectiers as they were called in the late 90s and early 2000s. One question that came up into my mind when I got her was what is a Maiko? Is there maybe a connection to a geisha somehow? And I found some useful information that I would like to present you here in this video today. And indeed she has a connection to a geisha. Both work in traditional Japanese tea houses in Kyoto and a Maiko is a apprentice geisha if you want to call it so. Let's explore together here what we have here from Mattel. I found some really really helpful picks for us westerners to understand the differences between Maiko and Geisha. If you want to know what this hair sewing machine has to do with Barbie and how Barbie is linked to Japan, I'm going to give you a link to one of my other videos because there is an interesting link that you should not miss. Some signs that she is really a Maiko is the light colored kimono and I see at least the sun that we would expect for a Maiko. I miss her buckles somehow. This is more looking like the geisha part than the Maiko part here. And for the more pink makeup I'm also not convinced if this is more pink than red. Let me know what you think about the makeup, more pink or more red. I see here a kind of red under skirt, like in the micro picture. Let's have a look at her hairstyle now. I found some useful pics with geisha and micro hairstyle. 
I hope you see it the same way like I do, but I think it's more a micro hairstyle that we see here, although we can't see the back of this style here, but she has the uh, flowers and she has the hair ornament. Here's another comparison of Geisha and micro hairstyle. I know it's hard to see, but this is what we should see in the back of her. I would guess that she has a long obi like shown in the picture, but since I have taken my doll not out of the box, it's hard to say, but I would say this is something that we can see in the doll. To sum it up, I would say that this micro doll is a wonderful doll. She has also some aspects of the real my core that she should have but I think some parts are also stolen from a geisha so she's a combination of both but if you never deal with the combination of my core and geisha I think you will never find it out because it's very subtle and if you are not from the Japanese culture it's even harder to see the differences let me know in the comments below if you have ever dealt with Japan or the Japanese culture. I hope we see each other in the next weeks. See you soon. You're Busy from Germany. Bye.